Hi everyone, hope you're well, hope everyone's keeping safe. Um, my name is Adam Matthews, I'm the golf course manager here at Moharton Golf Club. Uh, I'd just like to say a quick welcome to all the new members that we've got, uh, as well as our existing members. Um, if you're not familiar with the video blogs that we've been doing recently, you can have a look through our YouTube channel uh, and catch up with the, with the previous ones I've done in the year. The main focus on this one today uh, is just to have a quick run through of the drainage work that we've been doing over the last few months. Um, as we know, you know, drainage is a really important consideration at most golf clubs and especially for those built on impermeable clay soil like ours is in, in, in many areas. Um, a properly designed, correctly installed and, and accurately recorded drainage system is the key um, to a successful playing surface and, and successful golf all year round, which is one of our primary focuses now here at Moore Allerton. As part of our overall master plan, uh, we had a topographical survey complete in 2019. Uh, and from that, all our existing water courses, mainly the streams, the ditches and the ponds that we've got, and also some of the main carrier pipes that are currently under there uh, out on the course have all been plotted. And that's enabled us to um, make an assessment of the existing uh, drainage that we've got out there. Um, using those survey results in conjunction with physical site investigations, um, we've then come up with a design um, of a new arterial, arterial drainage system. Just to explain a little bit about what an arterial drainage plan is, um, it's the heartbeat of a drainage network uh, in the very much the same way as, as a motorway system works before branching off into the A and the B roads. Um, the foundations of a really good arterial system provides outfall for future primary and secondary drainage. And again, as I said, which is designed to remove standing water quickly. Um, the arterial network, particularly on the top nine of this golf course, where uh, our current outfall options are very, very limited, um, installing a new system up there will allow us to isolate historically wet areas, um, and as you'll have seen, around the 20th and 21st, which, which normally closes that nine in winter. Um, once that arterial network's installed and we, we've got these avenues to, to be able to, to drain water into, we can then go down to each individual hole detail and we can assess every area in terms of what further drainage requirements are needed. So after carrying out our site evaluations and using the data from the topographical survey we built an arterial drainage master plan which you can see here. On this plan you've got blue sections which are a series of new open ditch networks and they're tagged in by the orange sections which are is underground mains piping and we're confident that the installation of this uh, arterial plan out on the golf course will give us the foundations we need for further future drainage work. I'm now going to take you out onto the golf course and try and explain some of this work in a little bit more detail and we can have a closer look at it. So as part of the arterial upgrade work, especially up on the top nine, we looked at regrading quite a lot of the ditches that were here. So this ditch behind me, as you can see, has been regraded, it's been dug out, and this is the starting point of the main arterial network that carries water from this section and feeds into the piped areas that we've done further down. So we're just down on the 21st tee and at the back of this tee here is where the ditch meets the pipe section that we've installed and we've recently installed a 250 meter 300 mil twin wall pipe section into this area that will become the new arterial carrying section for this whole area designed to dry up what is historically a very wet area. In preparation for the project if you remember last year um, we cleared quite a few trees out of this section here which was designed to get a lot more light and airflow in which will hopefully improve the tea surface but also create the vista that we're looking for with the new ditch work and helping to dry this area up. As part of the work around the 21st hole we've also built a new tea path coming through this area so earlier on in the year this tree section was removed we've replaced it with some mounding which will be grass with fescue and we've got a nice new tea path once finished off which will come through into this area this area, as we know, used to be predominantly a really, really wet, boggy area. It was difficult to pass through. And even through the last few weeks with the really bad weather, it's been firm and we've been able to keep this, this bit open. So predominantly up on this top nine, the 21st, 22nd and 15th are our wettest holes. And we've had real big problems with them back in the, over the previous years. Part of this main ditch design going into here was one to provide a big upgrade to the 21st hole as a feature. But also, if you look, this ditch now gives us a focal arterial line that we, we can then drain this whole section of land into this ditch. On top of that, the 
bunker has been filled in. We're going to be building a new bunker in here which will be in line with the new fairway shape and the mounding will be moved further out which again will help redirect water into the ditch but also provide a better view down the hole for the second shots over the brow. So when planning the installation of a new arterial network we always start from the outfall and with the ditch coming through 21 and us draining this whole area from 15, 22 we're going to move all the water down through the 14th bank in and actually into the 14th lake behind me. So very much like we did on, uh, on 19 with the new waterfall feature, once we come back in here and finish this off, this is what this will become and this will be the outfall for all the drainage work up on this top nine. So we're up here on the right hand side of the 15th hole, just to the side of the 16th tee. Uh, and if you've played over the last few weeks, you'll have noticed that we've been doing some quite intensive tree thinning work up in this area. Um, I've had the good opportunity to speak to a lot of members as they've come through and the main theory behind this is one to thin these copses out that have, as I've discussed in previous blogs that have not, not had that work done before it also minimises the amount of leaves that drop on the course uh, also it opens up these wonderful vistas that we've got up on this high level of the golf course right across the bottom section of the course so the 15th green here is a fantastic example of the work that I'm talking about with the tree thinning if you look behind me we've got a lovely row of trees where there's some pine trees in there and there's about five or six leafy trees. We spend roughly in autumn and winter around 50 to 60 man hours a week just clearing leaves. So on this green, eradicating the six trees saves a lot of work and also leaves us with a really good vista of some nice pines just, just behind the green. So I'm just down on the 14th tee, the new 14th tee, um, and as you can see, it's all grassed in really well now. So all the construction work's finished, all the grassing phase is finished, and this tee will be in play for the start of next season. Uh, the only bit of work we've now got to come down here and finish this winter is there's a little bit of peripheral tree work to do just to get the vistas right um, and a little bit of seeding work on the front of the carry where we've had to put the um, tea irrigation through but as you can see it's going to be a great tea shot from here and a real good feature for this, for this hole. So I'm just down at the front of the 18th tee and again as we talk about when we're planning a big arterial drainage network we always start from the outfall and here on the outfall you can see this area here will carry all the water from 19 and 20 and 21 through. Now this got a real good test about three weeks ago when we had over 100 mil in four or five days. Uh, as you can see from this video, it really does carry the water down into here. Again, planning these projects starts years in advance and when we rebuilt the 17th hole four years ago now, we put in a new ditch line feature which connects up to our main stream that runs across the front of the 16th tee and again that will be the main carrier for, for all this new work coming down into this area. So the repair work to the 27th and 19th bridge area has been completed and as you can see behind me um, there's been a new large concrete header wall in place and quite a lot of substantial support work has gone into the bank in to fix that area. We've also taken the opportunity to widen the bridge, put some new fencing up and me and the team have been in around the bank in clearing out some of the scrub land to uh, get a real good view over that lake now as you come over the bridge. Thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed the update. As always, if you've got any questions about any of the work that's going out on the golf course, please feel free to drop me a message. You can follow us on our social media channels and these videos will be available on our YouTube channel. Really looking forward to seeing everybody back out on the golf course as soon as possible. Thanks very much.